You looking at the observation hive? I found our queen. Finally. Where is she? She's right. Oh, there she is, right there. Yeah. Well, I don't know. The light flag. might be too much. I don't know. This flag. This might not pick it up. It's pretty dark in there. It is. Yeah. Oh, you can kind of see the dot. Yeah. Darn it. We <laughs> have this flashlight for customers that come in the store. Yeah. There she is. I can see her playing. Yep. Plain as day with the yellow dot. So the golden color, is that more Italian breed? Or? Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of gold in here. So this one's got a little more Italian blood than some of our others. Okay, that's what I thought. But, uh, I think there's enough bees in there to make it through the winter. I think so too. We got a good bit of honey. So, yeah. yeah. So I know a lot of people come in here to look at this thing. They do, yes. People love it's, our live bees. Yeah, it's an eight framer. They go out the wall. So what do you think? The hive light's coming up. What do you think? Are you getting excited? I'm very excited. I have a countdown on my phone. Um, I think it's 69 days. So oh, really? Are you counting the days? Yes, wow. count the days down. I'm excited. There's a lot of um, like bee beekeepers that I've been talking to on the phone that I get to meet. And really? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm excited. So and you're going to help uh, Byron Ferris's uh, booth during yep. break. So he does, he's... I'm not sure he knows what he's in, getting in for. No, I don't know. It's he's going to have a lot of people coming to his he booth. He is, yeah. So it's going to be an exciting learning experience for all of us. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're all looking forward to it. Yeah. So. Anybody who wants to meet Molly, she'll be there. I'll be there. Let's go to Byron's booth. She'll be there on the, <laughs> during the breaks. Yep. I'm right. excited. Cool. Okay. Went to Atlanta yesterday and picked up a few units of HDO. And uh, they're holding a couple more for me. I picked out the ones I wanted. Oddly enough, this HDO isn't always perfectly flat. Sometimes you have to pick the units that are flatter. Uh, concrete form builders usually aren't quite as concerned at this stuff being super flat as we are for beehive lids and stuff. We want really flat wood. Every once in a while, it's just kind of bowed a little bit. For example, this unit was kind of bowed when it came in. And we cut it up into individual lengths for top boards. And then we put a, a board in the middle and put some pallets of sugar on the ends to kind of bow it backwards. And if you do that, it works. We'll just leave it like that for about a week. And sometimes we have to do a little longer, sometimes a little less to, uh, before it'll hold its shape and stay flat for us. So this HDO is the best plywood, but every once in a while it doesn't come into us really, really flat, which is what we prefer. We're about to get pretty serious in the wood shop here. The beekeeping's slowing down. Uh, feedings, I, I'm not going to say totally over, but it's close. We just got a few colonies probably that need a little more topping off, but beyond that I think we're done with the feeding. We can start concentrating on this wood shop. We're going to not only uh, build equipment for our store, the retail store, this winter. But we're going to get ready for the Hive Life Conference in Tennessee, Sevierville, Tennessee. Cayman Reynolds is putting on what he's calling the Hive Life Conference. There's going to be a serious amount of people there. I talked to him a few days ago and he's almost sold out. He's, I think he's sold 1,400 tickets and he's going to stop it at 1,600. That's a lot of people. That could make it the biggest conference in the USA next year. So Cayman's on the fast track to have one of the best conventions in the country. A lot of good speakers. Um, Ian Stepler's going to be there. You know Ian, or you know of Ian, and many other. Chris Werner's going to be a speaker, too. He's got really? Chris coming. Yeah, he's got Chris That'll coming. That'll be cool. I ain't got to meet Chris yet. Yeah, you'll, I'll make sure you meet him. This is Seth on the other side of the camera, by the way. Anyway, what I want to talk about is what we have to pull off and... It's going to go in two phases. We got uh, what has to be done by the 1st of January for the Hive Life Conference. And then we have what we need to have done by March for the retail store. It's really kind of two groups of, of stuff. And um, I just pulled in three units of HDO yesterday. I've got three sitting down in Atlanta spoken for. Told them which ones I wanted. We'll go back next week and get those. So. Um, for people that don't watch our videos very much, Jason's going to be kind of in charge of the wood shop. I've got a, I was very fortunate to have Jason walk in here looking for a job one day. I never thought I'd have somebody with his experience here helping me do all this, so I'm really tickled to have him around. 
Um, I feel like I can give him a list of parts and walk away and I don't have to look back, you know, I'll come back in a week and say, how's it going? And, you know, it's all right. Now, this isn't any, I'm not saying anything negative about anybody else, but Jason's got a lot of experience when, when I tell him I want it to be within 128th, he does it. And I, he knows what I'm talking about, so I feel fortunate. You keep his tuned in. So, okay, what, what are we going to do with all this HDO? One, that unit of 5.8s out there, I believe we can get uh, 500 double screen boards out of that. And there's right at 50 pieces in that unit. Um, so I'm going to have four units of three quarters. So I think we're going to go for a thousand lids and a thousand bottoms. Some of the bottoms will be the ones with the side uh, rail, the reversible bottom boards. And some will make for the, uh, what we're making right here, we're making uh, uh, breeder queen timing boxes. We're going to make a hundred of these. Yep. There's an old one. Let me show what that is. It's got these slots in it. This is an old one that I made out of HDO. We're going to make them out of cypress with a HDO top and an HDO bottom. And they'll have these grooves in them. And then we'll have special queen excluders to go down here and isolate the queen between two queen excluders. We'll make a hundred of those. These boxes are going to be extremely nice. This is select cypress. There's not a knot in the whole pile. And then we're going to be using HDO for tops and bottoms. That'll make a really high quality queen timing box. Um, let's look at that bottom board you got there, Selena. That's a pretty good bottom board. So the bottom boards we're going to make this isn't done yet. It's, it's a reversible. It's three eighths on one side and three quarter on the other. It's all HDO, even the the runners on the side. We'll put a three eighth strip here, so this could be a three eighth side, and it's already got the three quarter on the other side. That's just going to be a really, really solid bottom board. Yeah. Uh, we've been using them ourselves now for a few years, and they're, they're, they're almost indestructible. Yeah. And we'll try to get as much as this done as we can before the hive life, which is around the 1st of January. And then what doesn't sell, we can bring it back and sell in our store. So, oh, and you know, we have the 125 pallets to make, too. We've already got the wood for the base of the, or the top of the pallet pre-cut. And we, we need a lot of nuke box lids and bottoms because uh, we just counted the other day, what did we count, 250 nuke boxes? Or something? Mm -hmm. yes. So that, that's 500 pieces, so you can have to, I'm gonna leave this up to you now. You need to keep track of all this. We need 500 pieces for the nuke boxes. Half will be lids and half will be bottoms. They'll be the exact same dimension, so it's easy. We have to assemble all my, Cypress boxes. What did we count? There was four pallets of 180 each. Oh, oh, oh. I was thinking there was more on a pallet. Yes, yeah, so there's a you. lot of deep boxes, and we need to get those done early so he can get them painted yeah. and uh, have them sitting there and ready to go because we have a lot of single story colonies that I want to make into double deeps going into spring. And uh, so we got that to do. A lot of work to do, Selena. You you work for Ray and his wood shop, so you're used to this. Yeah. She's graduated pretty fast from yeah. lids to bottom boards to now these times. Just don't bottom. staple your finger to the board. <laughs> I'm sorry, her, I, I'm just her teasing how to you. Use the pry bar so she can pry <laughs> Yeah, that's about all I can think of. Uh, it's going to be an interesting winter. We don't. That's a lot of work with just a handful of people. I. It's going to be tricky to get it all done, but I think we can. I It'll really be do. Fun. And you got a lot of painting because we're going to paint the edges on all of this stuff, paint the end grain so that water can't soak in the end grain of this plywood. All right. A hey, good talk, guys. Yeah, good talk. <laughs> and now I'm going to go talk. talk to the girls in the store and let them know what we need for the hive life, see what Marilyn's got to order. Oh boy. Staggering number. We're gonna take a lot of stuff. A bunch of T shirts and coffee mugs and uh and who knows, maybe I'm wrong, maybe we won't sell tons of stuff, but I actually think what we're doing is we're going in with Byron Ferris. He knows Byron. Um I don't know if you've not no. met Byron yet. He's from Columbia, Tennessee, beekeeper over there, and he's gonna have a large booth at the Hive Life and we're gonna probably populate 
half of his booth with our stuff. He's going to oversee the booth, and then Joanne and uh, Clint are going to go help him run the booth, mm. and Molly's going to show up during breaks when the people are really busy. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people going by the vendors during break time, and uh, Molly has agreed to help during those times, and maybe Seth too a little. We'll see. We're going to have five different T-shirts, fun, fun T-shirts, fun coffee mugs, fun bumper stickers. Uh, Seth Sane is on one of them. <laughs> we, real beekeepers do it in the rain. We're going to have a bumper sticker and some coffee mugs that say that. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to get me a coffee mug. Yeah. I don't have a coffee mug yet. Okay, wait till we get them in. You okay, can, yeah, I got to get me choice. one of those. That'll okay. be cool. Okay, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank okay, you. Well. That stuff's heavy. It's about 3,500 pounds a unit. Yeah, it's heavier than regular plywood. Oh boy, it's sure good stuff. And these units are really flat, so that's going to help. Here's an example of some of the pieces we're taking. We're taking double screen boards, our heavy duty version. There's nothing wrong with the Snell Grove boards, the type you buy in the catalogs. This is just extremely heavy duty. It's made out of 5 8 HDO, 8 inch hardware cloth. Um, very nice, heavy, reversible bottom board, has both a 3 8 and a 3 quarter dimension that you can use. These are very heavy, very solid, and we'll be selling these flat migratory lids too. Have a 3 8 little strip on each end, 71 millimeter hole that fits a quart jar lid good quality HDO so we'll be selling those if you want to pre-order I don't know I guess I need to figure out how Byron wants to do that maybe I can figure out how Byron wants to have people pre-order if they want some all right Marilyn we need to have a conversation um, we're getting ready for this hive life. I know you ordered a bunch of stuff. How many, let's see, what's the right question? How many halves have you ordered? I have ordered a month ago, I ordered 160 for the store, and then I just have ordered 400 for the hive life. Okay, we may not, that's a lot of hats. We may not sell them all, but luckily we can just bring them back to the store. They'll sell. Those are good hats too, those Blue Ridge Honey Yes, right company. here they are. Oh, yeah. And these are cool. Blue Ridge Honey Company. And then, okay, so how many t-shirts have you ordered? Let's look at, and which ones did you order? Um, I ordered uh, the smoke them if you have, got them. Sorry about that. Oh, Life yeah. is better with bees. Blue Ridge Honey Company. And I thought we ordered another one. Uh, got Honey. Yes, got honey. And also the beekeeper, farmer, crazy person. Okay, and you also ordered some sweatshirts, right? Yes, Hoodies. I did. Yeah. The sweatshirts are going to be with Blue Ridge Honey Company on the back in a gray, and the smoke them if you got them in the military green. Well, that'll be a nice array of stuff, and you got a couple hundred of all that stuff. Yes, sir. Okay, what else did we order? We ordered coffee. Hey, you... We are in the process of ordering the mugs. She's sending me a sample of the one that you liked okay. to see if we like it, and then oh. we're going to place the order. It should be here so, Monday or Tuesday. What are we going to do? Uh, beekeepers do it in the rain. Right. Uh, um, be kind. Be high. Yeah. I love beekeeping. Um, well, there's five or six yeah. coffee mugs here. That'll be fun. Oh, yeah. And then and bumper can stickers, get, too. Yes. You can get some more bumper stickers. Yeah, because we only got, I think, 12 of each. One okay. Now. Well, we're excited about the Hive Life situation. Wish you could go. I know. I miss it's it every a, time. I know. It's like somebody's got to stay and watch the shop. And yeah. Marilyn's the designated person. Molly's going to go. Seth, Selena, Jesse, uh, Joanne, Clint. Yeah. Uh, so we'll get you in on one of these things. We'll just force Molly to stay home and, and <laughs> you can go. Uh -huh.